Welcome to the Allegheny's Ahead podcast. I'm your host, Ethan Imhoff. We're coming to you today from Williamsburg in Blair County along the Lauer Trail, which is right behind us. I think we had a cyclist just go by. Maybe we got that in the shot. Um, if you haven't been on the Lauer Trail, it's a 16-mile rail trail that starts in Flowing Spring out near Canoe Creek State Park, and it heads 16 miles east to Alexandria in Huntington County. So our episode today, we're talking about Williamsburg, and my guests are going to share with us uh, the things that they've been working on to develop a recreation-based economy here in Williamsburg and, and to talk about the good things that are, that are happening here. So uh, with me today is Dave Cadel and Mike Biddle. Welcome, guys. It's great to have you here. Thanks. Good to be here. Thanks, Ethan, for yeah, having us. So um, tell us a little bit about your backgrounds in, in Williamsburg and what got you into the trail and into community development activities in Williamsburg? Well, actually, uh, I'm a lifer. I, I'm, a, I'm a lifer. I was born here. I was raised here. I, w I had the opportunity of, uh, the only time I've been out of here is whenever I went to college, and that was just for a couple years. And um, um, I had the opportunity of going to school here, come back and coach basketball here. I was a banker here for a long, long time. And uh, so Williamsburg is kind of ingrained in me. Mm -hmm. That's uh, There's nothing imparted about that and michael's about the same you want to say something about your background on that yeah i was uh born and raised here as well uh i went to school at penn state and i really struggled to kind of find a major and i started thinking back about my hometown williamsburg and uh how, how i could help out the town and i found this major called community development and uh i really just loved it and i love everything that goes on and i really think it's a way to help people Mm -hmm. And I really just uh, want to put my input as, as much as I can in, in town here. Mm -hmm. Great, great. Uh, well, tell us about the project you're working on in terms of trying to uh, connect some of your activities in town here and promoting the town and promoting community economic development and uh, using the trail and your other recreational assets to do that. Um, as it is in a lot of small communities, uh, we struggle. It, 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 the bank that I worked at moved out. Uh, the grocery store moved out. Uh, a lot of people have moved out. And, um, and you can either sit back and do nothing or you can try to do something. Sounds like a country song, doesn't it? It's like, <laughs> give me a guitar, Michael. Um, <laughs> and with the trail, actually, before the trail was here, I used to run with some dogs and some things. And this was always very cool. And... Um, you think about it as recreation. I never really thought about it in regards to economic development mm -hmm. for a while. Adversity is the, the motherhood, the mother of invention, I suppose. So we had to try to look differently. So I was actually at a place uh, in East Freedom called Through, which is a really good place, but I just felt like I needed to be back in Williamsburg. I needed to get back. There's something, ha not that I can do anything, but like I'm a pretty stubborn guy and maybe we can look at some different opportunities. And so one of my friends is Bruce Erb, and he's been a longtime friend through the bank and things like that, and said, Bruce, we've got to do something with Williamsburg. And he's now a county commissioner. He's the county commissioner yeah. now, so he doesn't bank either. So we can talk about banking. We, <laughs> we're allowed to do that. And um, uh, so we talked about what can we do in Williamsburg, and, and uh, so he put together a little bit of a, of a think tank group of, of it was he, him and um, Dave McFarland, the county planner, mm -hmm. uh, Mark Ickes, um, you know, w was a good guy, and Steve McKnight mm -hmm. came down, and we had a few people from Williamsburg there. The mayor was there, and some other representatives, and we talked about um, the trail and how we can use the trail as not only a recreation from a recreation standpoint, but economic development as well. Like, how can there, there's a lot of people coming in and out of this town, mm -hmm. and that's kind of all they're doing. Okay, how can we make this uh, a more attractive place? for us how can we do more in regards to getting people to stay to stick mm -hmm. around and um maybe one day stay here live mm -hmm. here uh mm -hmm. be leaders here maybe start a business here that type of thing um we just know that doing nothing was not an option mm -hmm. so that's whenever mark kicked in i'm not sure you're ready for this yet mm -hmm. that's whenever yeah, mark, mark kicked in and said you know what we need to go to confluence mm -hmm. so there's a little right. bit of my background if that helps perfect um Mike, from, uh, I guess, a younger perspective, uh, I'm curious, like, being involved with 
these activities and what's going on here, does it does that make you more likely to want to come back, stay here as you think about moving your career forward? I know you're talking about graduate school, but postgraduate school, you know, is this something where you're like, hey, maybe maybe I do come back to Williamsburg? A hundred percent. I think if we can start getting town geared towards more um, 30, 40, 50 year old people and make it a place that's enjoyable to live. Mm-hmm. And um, because more and more people are looking for places that they enjoy. You know, you don't have to be in the big city to have a job anymore. Um, you can work from home. Uh, you can drive to work. So people are looking for fun places, fun activities, kayaking, walking on the trail, biking, bike paths, things like that. Nice shops to go to. And then if we can get to that place, I would love to stay in a town like this. Mm-hmm. Great. So leading into what you were mentioning, Dave, and um, touching on places that have already gone through this process and maybe a little bit ahead of Williamsburg. Uh, you guys took a trip to Confluence uh, over in, I think, Fayette County uh, or Somerset County um, to try and see you know, how it's done or you know, where, where were they when you were at this point? Um, and, and what are the folks in Confluence doing that you can draw from to, uh, you know, to implement what you're talking about here in Williamsburg. So you guys took a little contingent yeah, we down did. there and yeah. uh, took a little uh, vacation over to Confluence. Exactly. So, yeah. so, so tell us a little bit about that trip. And we should mention, you know, Confluence is a, an existing trail town mm-hmm. on the Great Allegheny Passage Trail, which is a very successful trail uh, that connects Pittsburgh and Cumberland and then Cumberland to Washington, D.C. Yeah, you can. Um, that was eye opening for me. Um, Confluence, I, I knew about Confluence in my coaching days because they're a part of Turkey Foot Valley and they were this, they were smaller than Williamsburg. Great name. Yeah. Hey, how can that be? You know, <laughs> they're smaller than Williamsburg. I don't understand it. But uh, uh, they, I think their population is less than, less than 700 people, mm-hmm. okay? But yet when we went in, the first place that Mark had to stop in was, it was a bed and breakfast. And they said that they have something in a neighborhood of 30 either guest houses or bed and breakfast wow. in that community. 30 in a community of like that. It's like, holy smokes, I never would have thought anything like that, you yeah. know? And and you, as you go around, people have just added onto their houses and did things like that just for like a business mm-hmm. type of a situation because so many people use the trail. So many people love doing this. And, and actually the day we went out there, it was raining. Uh, it wasn't it wasn't raining it, it was just a not a very good day and sure enough there's people coming down the trail w- on, and their bikes with their rain gear on because mud from head to toe and and thinking this is this is fun you know mm-hmm. that's what people do i'm not used to that here and so basically it made me look around a little bit more it made me come to the trail whenever i ran or, or did something on the trail i was looking around seeing i don't know these people mm-hmm. they're from everywhere mm-hmm. you know and, and so people are coming from everywhere and wow, and they're parking here and they're going home. Like we should probably be doing more. This is a business opportunity. You know, people are coming here to shop, but yet there's nothing to buy mm-hmm. was my attitude with it. And so how can we do things with it? And uh, so we're basically in the infant stages of that they have two banks, they have uh, a couple grocery stores, they have a bike shop. And it's just—it's still a nice, neat little town. It's a nice, neat little community. Mm-hmm. Um, like it—it it didn't turn into like Altoona. No, it's not like that. It's right. still confluence, um, but it has so many more things, mm-hmm. and it—it's be, become a destination. It's been a little bit of my thoughts. How can we become more of a destination uh, to do more than just ride a bike, or do a kayak trip, or take a walk? How can we do more things? Mm-hmm. And uh, again, that's economic development. You look mm-hmm. at this as recreation, which is which is the right thing. But how can we uh, develop that economically? Mm-hmm. So, and and uh, they've done quite well with it. And uh, so that was um, that was definitely a worthwhile trip. They had a garage there that they turned into a restaurant. Mm-hmm. Okay, and um, because they weren't making that much money, it's interesting because we have an empty garage in the middle of town. Right. You know, so. What's the possibilities of, of, of that type of thing? And, and uh, right now, we're kind of in the possibility stages. We still have too many empty buildings, right. but that's kind of where we're at, Ethan. So who did you guys talk to when you were down there? Did you meet with some of the business owners? And Yeah, the people that owned the bed and breakfast and the people, uh, you're going to ask me names, and I forget the names. Um, I, I forget the names, but one lady uh, was an attorney, 
and uh, she used to go to Confluence, and she rode her recumbent bike, mm -hmm. and she loved it so much that what she decided to do was open up a recumbent bike shop, and then she moved some of her practice. She was practicing part-time in Confluence, part-time in Pittsburgh, and eventually she just moved to Pittsburgh, and she's become an advocate mm -hmm. of the trail, and there's so many people that just advocate. I remember the, the one guy who just kind of like in everybody's packet when we left, he had uh, uh, index cards said signage, signage that you need to make sure people know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And so that's been kind of what we're looking at. We've not, we're, we're certainly in that stage right now, but we're not where we need to be at that point. But like we're trying to influence the, um, um, as people come in, I want them to be excited about getting to the trail. This is a trail town. This is what we do. And uh, so the signage is a big deal, and that's kind of we're still in the infant stages of that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I saw the signs coming into town here yeah. uh, at the Welcome to Williamsburg spot, and you now have a couple bicycles out there yeah. with signs that say Trail Town. So yeah, um, what were some of the other lessons learned and things that uh, you want to bring back from a community like Confluence and, and try here? Well, what's attractive, I think, is is uh, we don't have. Uh, this sounds easy, but it's not. Uh, I, I think um, you have to change the conversation in communities. You have to change the conversation from what we don't have to what we could have. Mm -hmm. And that's half the battle. Mm -hmm. I, I really believe mm -hmm. that. It's, it, most of the problems we have, I remember, I'm going to be a little faithy here, so bear with me. Um, um, I remember running on the trail out past uh, those signs, the welcome signs. Mm -hmm. And I was like, kind of pray and say, Lord, what do we do? This, this community is not so good. And I could feel in my spirit says, look around. Mm -hmm. Just look around. I put it here. Mm -hmm. Look around. And so the first thing I noticed uh, very distinctly was that uh, crazy fence along Penelac mm -hmm. you know, with a barbed wire. It looks like prison, mm -hmm. yeah. you know. And that was probably our first big thing was like, uh, I know it's like, wow, it, it doesn't take much to excite these guys from Williamsburg, does it? But you know what? Taking that fence down mm -hmm. and... and, and um, and seeing clearly as you're coming into town, the trail on the other side and seeing people go by mm -hmm. is like, ah, that feels good. It's not like seeing people in the institution, you know, mm -hmm. it's like there's barbed wire. Don't try to get out. You know, mm -hmm. it's like, it's, it's cool. Right. So taking down a fence was cool. I'd like to take down the rest, you know, uh, right, right now I, um, uh, it's hard to find out who owns that property, mm -hmm. but uh, they still, because of that big old, um, hole in the ground out there or whatever they have to keep that fenced i get that mm -hmm. but um i think that property is for sale and mm -hmm. i'm not sure i see one day that could be a big old rest stop for people at trails we'll just fill it in and whatever we'll make it uh nathan's ethan's place i don't yeah. know what we'll call it it's, it's all good it's all Perfect. good so as far as ideas a temperament and a can-do attitude, and mm -hmm. talking with the people that run the 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 the, uh, the restaurants mm -hmm. and and the banks, and they they've embraced it. We need to embrace this. Mm -hmm. We need to embrace this. So right. more of an attitude thing, I'd say, Ethan. Right. Well, and and you can see. I mean, there are, are watchers and. Listeners can't see, but we're we're facing a kind of a beautiful parklet area that you guys developed, and I think that's kind of along the lines of what you were talking about. Uh, there's a farmers market that goes on here uh, mm -hmm. Saturdays. Uh, we have an there's an ice cream shop right over here that started up a few years ago. So there's there's good things happening and. Yeah, one of the things we did was make this. This used to be just a plant. We had flowers and made it pretty. We wanted to make it functionally pretty, mm -hmm. okay? So we put this fence up and uh, started this um, uh, Trail Town Market, as we call it. Mm -hmm. You know, so we, we try to sell produce, and we, we're looking for vendors to come in. Any vendors watching this that wants to come in, so a guy comes in and sells honey and things like that. We have some produce and, and uh, a lady who does paintings with the trail. She's amazing. Um, we painted this building. Uh, there's a mural here beside us. We did that as uh, through the crossroad, and um, we painted the building because we thought we should. I don't know. You, you took notice of the little boarded-up window on it. We painted that into like bears eating ice cream. Yeah. That yeah, just that was, happened. That was great. So that was great. I know, corny, but you know no, what? It's no, all perfect. good. It's all good. It's better than a. It's be better than a boarded-up window, <laughs> and and. Uh, so we're trying and trying to do some planning along there. We cleaned this out. You can't see behind it. Why, why am I pointing? This is yeah. Like, 
whatever. But oh. you'll see a mural coming. We cleaned all this stuff out behind this. Mm -hmm. We're painting a mural on it as far as the history of Williamsburg. As people come in here, I want them to get an idea of who we are and where we're mm -hmm. from. So kids will be coming down this afternoon to continue the mural of Williamsburg, yeah. which um, this place will be jammed before you know it, Ethan. That's that's what we're hoping for. That can do attitude. That's, that's it. The can that's do it. attitude. You guys, you guys have it. You that's guys right. have it. Exactly. So I was looking at the the website of our countywide economic development organization. Uh, they're called Altoona Blair County Development Corporation. And they have a, a very nice page dedicated to recreation and talking about the importance of recreation to our economy. And um, specifically talking about rail trails, they said um, ABC's role. ABCD's role in this effort is clear. We will help to connect potential investors with available sites and buildings in all of our trail towns. We will help finance business startups of all types. We will advocate for policies that improve trail development and existing road access improvements. So, you know, it's great that we have a countywide economic development organization that's on board. Uh, who, who are some of your other partners and advocates who are helping you with this initiative? Well, I have to stop there now uh, before you go any farther. It's good to have an advocate like that, the, the things that you just read, but it's also good to have an advocate that comes down and uses the trail. Steve McKnight was here and, and mm. took uh, a bit of a selfie in front of that new picture on... Uh, I think over the weekend, mm -hmm. and that was pretty cool. So it's it's not only good to have people that advocate for you, but actually come and are a part of it. So that's uh, they they they're a, they're definitely a blessing. We're looking for more partners. Whenever I think about partners, uh, um, you know, Bruce Erb and the county have been mm -hmm. supportive. Dave McFarland and uh, the planning commission have been supportive. Um, actually. Um, I do ridiculous things like ask questions. Southern Alleghenies came down and said, have you ever been involved with PennVest? Or I'm sorry, not PennVest, but uh, Penn Connect. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, uh, I, and I haven't, and actually um, I can't personally, it has to be through a, uh, it has to be through a, um, um, like the, the borough. Okay. I, that, that would, that's what that is through mm -hmm. the borough. And so what they did is the borough appointed me as like a liaison. Okay. And so I'm waiting for a call from PennDOT connect mm -hmm. to see what we can do. I don't, I, I, in regards to signage and some mm -hmm. things like that. And, and again, trying to connect the trail and recreation with business development. And, um, listen, if you think it, it, it by listening to me, if you think I know what I'm doing, that's, that's wrong. Okay. I go with like the seat of my pants and the Lord just leads me. And, and, uh, but it just seems like, wow, we have to be good stewards of what's given to us. And, and this is unbelievable. What they've done is, uh, is, uh, the trail and everything has been unbelievable. And, and the people that come down here, this is the, you know, I'm, I'm partial to this, but this is the nicest place in the County. Whenever Michael talks about living here, it's like, why do you want to live anywhere else? You know, mm -hmm. like you can, we have some problems along the way, but like where else can you go at two o'clock in the morning and run the streets or, or go for a run, go for a walk on the trail and not have to worry about anything except for maybe a bear. I don't know, but uh, <laughs> it, it's, it's a cool place to be. It's yeah. a cool place to be. So am we, I pushing Williamsburg good? You are. You're, doing, right, good. you're doing a fantastic I'm, I'm doing job. Okay. And, and, and we haven't seen any bears for quite a long time. It's been and a while. I think that's, yeah. that, especially that's the part out by the mountains it's where you see the, the bears. Yes. It's never here in Williamsburg. Yeah. So. I think we had the bobcat though a few years we ago, We did right? have the bobcat. <laughs> yeah, we did have the bobcat. That was uh, that was unique time. Yeah. <laughs> it was with a teacher and then... We used to put signs on the fence and, uh, you know, just kind of encouraging signs. And, and I remember one time a guy switched the signs around and put, welcome, welcome Bobcats. And it was like, oh, <laughs> probably shouldn't have done that. I took that back. So it, it was all good. Granis Brothers, I can't do this without talking about Granis Brothers. Yep. They're the one through the yep. hurricane. This place was wiped out. Yeah, it was and, what, in uh, 2004, Hurricane <laughs> Ivan came through, and the river was probably about where we're sitting now. Absolutely. Uh, and the trail was just ravaged. ravaged. You had gullies that were 10 feet deep, and yeah, there, there really wasn't much of a trail yeah. through Williamsburg. Yeah, through uh, Dean La between Dean Lauer, we're allowed to talk about that now. Whenever Dean was alive, he didn't really want to talk too much about everything he did. Mm -hmm. He was uh, a mm -hmm. humble man, and... Um, 
you know, it's like lower trail, lower trail. No, it's lower trail because right. he's the man. He's yeah. it, we wouldn't be here without Dean it's Lauer. Spelled L O W E R, like lower. lower. The word lower, but the name is Lauer. comes from Attorney Lauer, who is yeah. one of the benefactors of the trail. Yep, yep. and uh, the, his family they had a good vision for this. Honestly, I was a banker back in the day whenever this all thing was going down, and I was like. I, I don't know what this is all about. I'm mm -hmm. not sure what's going on. So let's just keep doing what we do. Mm -hmm. uh, at the time, I didn't have the vision. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I think I'm representing a lot of different people in the community. We don't have mm -hmm. the vision. And so now I think the vision is becoming clear. Um, Michael can maybe address this, but I think the conversation has changed in town. Mm -hmm. I think some of the people are starting to say like, um, lady uh, made shirts the other day, you know, uh, the lady who does the, uh, printing and she said can i give you these shirts and she does the uh, um has a shirt store and she, it's like the, the 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 williamsburg trail town market and that's pretty cool you mm -hmm. know people are starting to say what can i do to help what can i do to help yeah. um i've never they probably say it behind my back you know but they don't say <laughs> he's a pain in the neck but th i have people that saying you know what like keep keep going keep yeah. going so that's a good thing yeah that's a good thing yeah well mike talk a little bit about this vision and and how um, as somebody who's the next generation, um, you know, what, what have you and some of your friends, uh, been doing like this park? I mean, how, how has that evolved over the past few years? Well, I think to go back with, to what Dave was saying, um, I think people have like tried to do a lot of things in the past, but it's been very separate people doing separate things. And, and now that Williamsburg has a common identity in the trail town, mm -hmm. I think people are more apt to help because, everyone's working towards the same goal. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of things that we had in the past that failed might actually work now because we're all doing it together. Mm -hmm. And as far as me and my friends, I mean, I've been kayaking this river since I was five years old mm -hmm. and I've been hiking the trails and everything. And it's something that I don't want to say I take for granted, but it's like, you know, I do that every day. Mm -hmm. Whereas someone coming from the city or another place, they love doing that. And they're like, they want to know how. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a big thing around town. They might not know how to do it. Right. So I think if we can get um, things in place to show them how to do maps and signs and um, maybe even guided tours, mm -hmm. people would love doing that. Mm -hmm. And I was talking to my sister about it the other day, and she was saying, well, yeah, but you know how to do all that stuff. And so do other people. But you got to think they come from the city. They're, they're not used to mm -hmm. this stuff but they want to be able to experience it just like us and have that fun and passion for it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, talking about developing that recreation infrastructure so that when people are here, they, they know what to do and where to go. Um, are there people who are talking about, you know, say a bike shop or leading kayaking tours? Are there, is that under development? Um, I don't want to say it's under development, but there's definitely been talks about it. Mm -hmm. um, even with me and my brothers and stuff, we were very excited about what's going on here and kind of how we can help. And I've talked to people outside of the community who might even be interested in putting in a bike shop mm -hmm. and they're just very interested in what's going on here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's, so what, um, what would be your wish list? I guess if you could, you know, if you have a, a top five or 10 of, uh, needs, wants to help develop the trail and connect that with the town, what, you know, what's, <clears throat> What's on the top of the list right now? Um, you move into Williamsburg, Ethan. <laughs> <laughs> so we're trying I to. Can, I love trying to buy, but I, I'm here. I'm here frequently. I know. So. I get that. I'm, I'm good with. <laughs> no, I'm good with that. Actually, um, uh, whenever you think about economic development, you think about okay, what are people going to do? And and, and um, um, one of the things that Confluence mentioned, okay, is laundromats. We lost our mm -hmm. laundromat. Okay. okay. Um, that's one of the things that, that we needed. We need to take care of our people here and also both. And I think that would probably accommodate both. Mm -hmm. I, again, there has to be some, um, specific numbers on this. Like on paper, we're not a good investment right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's like, wow, I want to, everything I ever want to do is open up a laundromat at Williamsburg. How about a coffee shop in Williamsburg? How about that? Mm -hmm. We need to have somebody with some vision. Okay, because I think, um, like, even the well, place... It sounds like you have that person yeah, with the vision. There, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I think that part might be Yeah, checked. whatever. Okay. We'll <laughs> next on the list. I, I, next on the list. <laughs> I mean, when you look at this place, like, right along the trail, coffee shop, restaurant, people want to come here. If they don't want to move here, they still want to eat. Mm -hmm. They still want to wash their hands. They mm -hmm. still want to do things, you know? So how can we do more of that? And, and I, I think that's... Um, um, 
we need to provide more opportunities once you're here to stay here as opposed to, I mean, with all due respect to anybody, instead of going back to um, Altoona and going to McDonald's, like mm -hmm. how can we accommodate that here, mm -hmm. you know? That would be on my wish list, more retail opportunities for people to be here in a unique kind of a way. You mm -hmm. know, I think the uniqueness and the trail townness is, is, uh, is what Confluence have captured. Um, yeah, you know, we're looking at bike racks and how can we be more unique with bike racks? How can we put them up in businesses? Mm -hmm. um, signage again, how can we be consistent with that? And one of the things I know is a is a pain for these guys taping this, okay? But to me, it's a pretty big deal. <laughs> and there goes a manure truck. We gotta love Williamsburg, don't you? It's <laughs> all good. It's all good. Breathe in the air. Coming for the country. It's, it's all good. Right? It's all good. <laughs> but. The noise out back is is uh, from a spring, okay? Mm -hmm. We call it the Williamsburg. This is the Williamsburg term now, the big spring. <laughs> Not the little spring, the big spring. But that's a place up at the end of town, and, and there's, uh, I think, like 6 million gallons of water that goes in, and we call this the race, and it goes right into the river, okay? And th the community was founded, was originally, uh, whenever Jacob Ake came to town, uh, that's what attracted him. Water attracts people, you know? Mm -hmm. And I, I got to think that somewhere in our future has, is our past. Mm -hmm. Like, what can, the, what can happen with this water? Like, six million gallons of, of unbelievably clean, clear water mm -hmm. going into the river. I have nothing against the river, but what can we do in the meantime? Mm -hmm. Like, how can, we, um, how can we use that as a resource? So in my wish list... Um, you know, that would definitely be a wish list. We have that big property up there, mm -hmm. which could be an amazing bed and breakfast. There's 70 mm -hmm. acres up there. And, and you know what? We'll just see where the Lord takes us. And, and, um, um, but I, I think using the water, which is our best resource, using the trail and, and, and trying to get people with a vision in regards to this atmosphere and this experience mm -hmm. is, uh, is kind of where we need to be, mm -hmm. in my opinion. So so as you get buy into the vision, are you having conversations with people who are interested in investing here? Or are we not at that stage yet? Yeah, you know what? The, um, where we are at the crossroad, that building is for sale. And, and um, um, yeah, I have had conversations with a lady who would love to do like a coffee shop type mm -hmm. of a thing there, you know, which would be cool. You know, uh, again, money's an issue. A lot of the buildings we have in town are not in the best of shape. It's not like, oh, let's move in and put in a coffee shop. What do I have to do? Go buy a couple bun coffee makers? Mm -hmm. No, there has to be some serious investment in right. that. And um, uh, I, again, um, when I think about it, it's going to take somebody with some financial backing. Mm -hmm. In my banking background, it's like whenever you go and say, yeah, we want to start a coffee shop. How much money are you going to make? I don't know. How are you going to do it? I don't know. Bankers don't like to hear that. They want to see numbers. So it's probably going to take somebody, again, that's why like the development corporation help mm -hmm. develop numbers because we don't want to put a pe people in a position to fail. Right. We want this to be a successful thing. We don't need any more failures. We want wins in this community. Mm -hmm. And as soon as we start getting a couple wins, it's kind of funny how that works. Mm -hmm. You know, it's... Uh, yeah. I remember coaching. I was a coach here one time, and we started out one year really, really bad, and and we changed some stuff, and and uh, we were two and eight, and then all of a sudden we changed a few things, and we became eight and two, and we started understanding what it took to win. And I feel like if we get a couple wins here, then we'll start understanding what it takes to win, and we will continue to win. Mm -hmm. Yeah, little coaching background. There. No, no, I, I think you already have some wins here too, with like this facility here and yeah. your signage. So it seems like you're. And you coming well down here, and, and these and guys us, coming down here. here. It's, yeah. it's a it's a it's a it's a bigger deal than what you think. Yep. Um, so so what's the timeline? I mean, what are you do you do you have any time goals in mind, or is it just as it comes? Yeah, you know what? Um, um, like I'm I'm pretty big at telling people to set goals. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, king of the obvious here. You're forty percent more likely to attain goals when you write them down. Mm -hmm. Okay. I've never put a timeline on it because I'm, I'm so, I, I don't know what that is at this point. Um, my timeline is never fast enough. Mm -hmm. it, things don't go nearly fast enough for me because I'm getting old, you know, and I like to see some of this stuff. Um, you know, everything's personal with me. You know, I have grandchildren here. I have children here. 
And, and it's like, I want this to be a place where it was like, man, this is where I grew up and I want to be here. Mm-hmm. You know, that's personal to me. So, um, I would like to see some things happen in the next year. Mm-hmm. I, I think, um, in our summer project, we we're going to try to get the signage thing. Mm-hmm. We're going to try to get a lot of this stuff done in the summer. Mm-hmm. And, um, just keep doing the background types of things. I'm not sure what PennDOT Connect can offer. Mm-hmm. Um, again, everybody's been so willing, uh, including you, to come down and say the trails, like, we're all behind this. This mm-hmm. is a good thing. So, um, again, if we wouldn't have started this, not being wise, we wouldn't be here. Mm-hmm. You know? So, there's things going on, but where it goes from here, it's... Um, I guess we'll take this in what year long bites, you know, for right now mm-hmm. and, and, and we'll see where it goes. So, but, um, again, a few wins will go a long way. Yeah. The, um, there's efforts to expand the trail both westward and eastward. Um, it seems like eastward or I'm sorry, westward towards Cambria County may be the, the best route for now. Um, do you think uh, there's probably, uh, the numbers I know are about 70 to 80,000 people come through here every every year. Are those numbers sufficient or are you looking towards expansion efforts to uh, support a lot of what you want to do? Well, that would be, I'm going to say that's your job, Ethan. It's like he, you're the trail guy. So as we get this, I, I know that the 911 trail, uh, yeah, I'm not sure what that is like. This is all kind of, um, um, it, it's, it's kind of out there to me. Mm-hmm. I, I don't, I, I can't comprehend so much of this stuff, but one thing I know is we're one of the, I mean, you, you can't, there's not going to be a trail like this the whole way to New York city. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of like on the road types of things. Right. We're always going to be a trail that's going to come off on a town. And, mm-hmm. and then there's so many trails that converge here. Mm-hmm. And, um, I, I think like when you say seventy to eighty thousand people, that's going to be the bottom. It's 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 mm-hmm. we're going to keep going right. up from there. And I, and again, from an investment standpoint, as people look to come here to um, do things here, to invest here, mm-hmm. uh, I think they have to look at the upside of that. Right. Well, I, and and I live in Hollidaysburg, and so um, we don't have the trail in Hollidaysburg, but it's very close. It's mm-hmm. about seven miles away, and I hear from a lot of people in Hollidaysburg who drive out to Flowing Spring or here. You know, it'd be great if the trail came into Hollidaysburg and I could just ride out to Williamsburg for the day and back. So, uh, so yeah, hopefully that is the floor and we continue to, to grow and expand the, the trail. And, and the thing is there, there's enough business. Like I would love to see, I'm talking about Williamsburg. Okay. But this is regional. Oh, absolutely. This is absolutely, yeah. this, this economic uh, development thing is totally regional. Uh, it's like, how can we get Williamsburg? We're part of the big picture. Like, I hope Hollidaysburg embraces this. Mm-hmm. And I want to, like, we want to do what we do. They do what they do. And everybody wins. Yeah. And well, that's, that's the way it works. And it's kind of like what you saw. You can have successful Ohio Pile, successful yeah. Confluence, successful Rockwood. It's it's not just one town. It's, right. It exactly. is a, truly a regional uh, approach. So um, before we close out here, one thing I always like to ask is, how can people get involved? If somebody's listening and they say, wow, these guys sound really energetic and positive and go-getters, I want to help out. Uh, tell us how people can get involved. Um, you Besides know what? making a major investment. <laughs> a major investment? Yeah, that would be, uh, that. Would, hey, you know what? If you don't swing for home runs, you never yeah, hit right. them. Yeah, that's, that's, right. that's, that's the deal. You can't quit. You can't just sit, sit there waiting for a walk. You know, it's like, uh, singles win games. I played a lot of that sport too. You know, uh, we're trying to hit singles and, and try to run the bases and that type of thing. Um, anybody with ideas, anybody that might be watching this with ideas and said, you know what, you know, um, this would be a good shortcut. This is a good venue. This is a good avenue mm-hmm. for it. Like, um, uh, you know what? We have some uh, like a, 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 the, the Trail Town Market Facebook page. I'd be glad mm-hmm. to give you my numbers. Mm-hmm. You know, whatever. I I would love to have conversations with anybody who wants to feel that they, they want to be part of this whole thing. And um, I just used this yesterday in a message. So it's a Zam. I think it's a Zambian proverb where it says, uh, "He who runs alone runs fast." But he who run, but they who run together run far. Okay, we're trying to get people to run together, and we want to take this like a long way. You know, we how far can this go? Like this trail, like 
this is kind of crazy. Mm -hmm. But people that actually want to be part of uh, not the rat race, where they can come down here and reflect and actually get close with uh, with themselves, with nature, mm -hmm. with um, again my standpoint with God. You know, this mm -hmm. is a good place to be. Yeah. We want to be that light. We want to be the city set on a hill. I am going to be a little bit of faithful guy here. We want to be that city set on a hill. It's like we're not sure what it's like about. We don't know. We don't know what it's like about Williamsburg, but we just like to go there. Mm -hmm. I want that. Yeah. I, I want that, and I, I feel like that the only thing that can do that is that that's where my faith comes in in a great way. And it so. doesn't just have to be people from Williamsburg. Oh heavens, no! Anybody can get involved, right? Oh my gosh! Uh, yeah, I, I don't want to say unfor. The one lady who's talking about the coffee shop thing actually sold her place in William in Holidaysburg, moved to Williamsburg, okay, and is looking to do some things, mm -hmm. and. Um, um, when I was just we're we're going to take some of that. I think we'll take some of that. Before we taped, I was just talking to a gentleman who lived in Arizona for 30 years and had gone to high school here, uh, but now comes back here for the summer yep. and spends a lot of his time riding the trail. So, And uh, some of the people we saw going back and forth, you know, I didn't know any of them. Right. And I'm a, I'm a lifer here. You know, mm -hmm. they just come and they ride the trail and it's, it's a good thing. It's, it's, we're so blessed, I can't even begin to tell you. So mm -hmm. that's the deal. Yeah. Was there anything else you guys would like to, to add or any projects you'd like to plug before we wrap up here? Every day is a project for me. We're doing our summer program with kids now at, at the Crossroad. We call it Bridge Project. We call it Bridge Project not because of any particular bridge. We do it because there's too many gaps mm -hmm. between businesses, churches, community, families, even within families. How can we build bridges mm -hmm. and so we're trying to get kids to connect thus that's why we had kids plant down there um, mm -hmm. along the trail uh, we're trying to help them decorate with bicycles we're going to do something at the end of the year maybe a race something like that the mural we, we need to try to keep educating people like it's in it's neat that holidaysburg comes down here they come down here for like 17 years their high school mm -hmm. to try to help on the right. trail uh, the original teacher on that was a guy from Williamsburg mm -hmm. since his past, but that has continued. We need to get the school more involved mm -hmm. with this because, I, I, again, this is a matter of if we get enough people to embrace this, all of a sudden the ideas, I, I, you know, it'll start, it'll just keep growing. Mm -hmm. and, and that's the deal. Um, from my standpoint, I just appreciate all you guys coming down here and taking time with uh, this little community that uh, nobody thought about, and all of a sudden we're becoming a little bit more significant. Mm -hmm. And and uh, so, like, hang on, we we don't take uh, losing very well. <laughs> we don't take losing very very well. He won the Big Ten championship last year, and and he has a torn what's that thing called? UCL. A UCL. Okay, he had Tommy John surgery. So. Um, I wasn't trying to break his arm to stay in Williamsburg, <laughs> just so you know, okay? But uh, we're just blessed to have you here, Ethan, and, and you guys from Allo wish us as well. well. Well, we appreciate it, and that's the, the whole purpose of the podcast is to shed light on projects like these that are going on, and, and you know, there's so much in the media about bad things that we want to you know, have an opportunity to spread the word uh, and, and encourage people to check projects out like this. So if, you, uh, if you're looking for a, a trail experience, come on down to, to Williamsburg, la ride the Lauer Trail, uh, have some ice cream, check out the, the beautiful artwork that's all around town, check out the, the Saturday market. I think I'm going to come down uh, this Saturday for that. So uh, Dave Cadel, Mike Biddle, appreciate you guys uh, talking with us. Thanks, Ethan. Thank you. So next podcast, uh, we're going to be talking to some interns at the Community Foundation for the Alleghenies from Blair, Somerset, and I believe Cambria counties. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. And um, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.